गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम नमस्ते एंड वनकम वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल समीरा शरीफ All right guys so as you all saw the title thumbnail this video is going to be about sehri to iftar of our ramadan 2023 like the first video of this ramadan so basically uh, no one were home except for anwar jan roxy arhan and myself mom tabassum papa prince everybody went to reshma aunty's home like for the weekend and this was the third roza third day of ramzan and technically this was the second day that i was fasting so basically i had my periods on the first day so i was in fasting and on the second day which is 25th of march i was fasting without sehri 6th of march is definitely going to be very special because i was having my sehri after two long years like for the first time after i had arhan in my womb and the special thing here was i was having my sari along with anwar jan and anwar jan was making the sari of course after arhan started teething this was the first time i was brushing my teeth all alone otherwise arhan and i both of us share the sink while we were brushing i was missing i was feeling so left out it was feeling so so weird uh, if you guys also relate to this please do let me know in the comment section down below quickly finished my brushing like you know uh, that it it's such a beautiful feeling to wake up early in the morning at 3:30 4 o'clock and brush your teeth and get ready for the sari it's such a beautiful feel and this is what we have for sari dal and uh, we have uh, pyaaz ka anda i made gajar ki sabji for arhan that's what i was eating so yeah i asked anwar chand to record while i was eating but it was so so weird matlab usually i don't ask him to record my videos but to film this montage of me eating it was so weird i was just like you know controlling my laugh you can see my cheeks holding the laughter in side so yeah i quickly finished my breakfast sorry the sahar and also arhan was asleep i was monitoring him while i was having my food and then it was time to offer my prayers uh, this feels so so good after having arhan this was the first time uh, apart from the eid i of course offer namaz on eid but apart from that this was the first time that i offered namaz and it was feeling so good i mean i i felt so pure from the inside and out and also this uh, this outfit i don't exactly know what What is what this is called? This is gifted to me by Tabassum when I asked her that I don't have something like this to wear and offer prayers, and I'm not really comfortable wearing the dupatta. So she got me this when we were at our old home uh, before conceiving, and this is something that which is very comfortable. So I wear any outfit that I usually wear, and then wear this on, and uh, I can offer my prayers. I was quickly done with my fajr namaz, and Alhamdulillah, Aran didn't uh, wake up, and also the folding technique, the prayer mat folding technique. also uh, i learned from reshmanti and tabassum so that's what i follow and i quickly kept my prayer mat and my dress everything in the storage right here so this is this beautiful storage that we have uh, in our prayer room so i kept all my stuff there so that i can keep offering namaz during this ramzan and get more closer to allah and then arhan woke up uh, it was like his breakfast time and because it was just the four of us uh, anwar jan roxy myself and arhan i thought i'll just go get uh, breakfast from the hotel that we have at the clubhouse so we basically have taj mahal hotel here in our society so i thought i'll just go get idli because anwar jan made dal for arhan so i thought i'll offer that idli along with dal i usually don't prefer outside food but sometimes uh, when in case of emergency because we were too occupied with our own things so we went to supermarket got bananas and also got idli and after coming back home as you can see arhan was having his idli so i was trying to fix the camera and record but then in the wide frame the camera's uh, the stand's thing was coming in the frame so i removed that and then arhan kept telling me why you have the stand there why don't you place it onto the stand and record so if you'll see he will uh, ask me to place the camera onto the stand and record it from there why are you holding the phone why are you straining yourself my son is so adorable and he actually started understanding you know mom is this is her job and she's going to keep capturing me she's going to keep capturing herself and also a lot of you all think that arhan doesn't give any kind of expression or make any kind of uh, noise that is because he understands that i'm recording and he stays calm lets me record and meanwhile uh, i was cutting mangoes and as you can see arhan also was having this was his morning snack after idli like first thing he ate was a banana like he did not eat full banana but uh, less than half is what he left and after that we got back home he ate that idli like 3/4 of the idli and then while i was cutting the mango and uh, arhan was having mango as you can see he's there down he's obviously not in the frame so i quickly finished chopping the mangoes uh, so basically these are uh, benishan 
bangin palli mangoes okay so i thought i'll just cut them and keep them in the fridge so that they are ready for iftar we don't have to you know do it in the last moment because i was anyway free that time and after finishing all of that it was the lunch time and for lunch as i said anwar jan made dal for arhan so we have rice and dal and i also served curd curd is something that he really loves and enjoys eating and uh, that's what he ate for lunch and after some time like when he was almost done he does tell me that he's done with his food and when he was uh, almost done and i did not take him out like you know i wanted i wanted him to convey it properly and see what he actually does i mean he started complaining that to hanwar jan when he came and sat watch that are you right? done yeah आप कैसा बोलते मम्मा डन 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 बोलते कैसा बोलते बताओ डन ठीक है and after that it was time that i dust the bed so basically arhan was done with his nap as well so as soon as we wake up in some time he goes for his nap like in the afternoon when we have our school after coming back from school he goes for his nap so after that is when i do the bed properly otherwise i place the pillows in such a way that it is a fence for arhan and he can sleep comfortably and after he's done with his nap is when i do the bed properly so i have this mat which i place always on the bed just in case if his diaper leaks and you know the bed I don't have to change the bed sheet and everything every single time his diaper is over full. So this is how I make the bed. I throw his blanket like so. And again it was time for prayer. I did not offer all the five namazes but I try my best to offer all the possible namazes as much as I can because this Ramadan I really want to get close to Allah as much as possible. I know I haven't been doing this of late but this is something that I want to build. I want to practice and make make this as a regular habit on everyday basis irrespective of it being the month of Ramzan or no. I just want to get as close as possible to Allah. And while I was offering my namaz Anwar Jan was taking care of Arhan. Arhan was like you know uh, sitting with Anwar Jan and playing some games with him. Also I want to set an example for Arhan. I want Arhan to practice all this from this age itself. I know which I haven't been doing. I things which I did not do in the past. I want all those things like to be a habit in Arhan's life. And meanwhile after this is done Arhan started playing with his toys and also he was having his evening snack which was mangoes again. Of course it is summers and he has to have mangoes. I know usually he eats all his food let it be snack or proper meals all by himself but some days you know i just feed him and that was the day where i was feeding him his mangoes while he was playing and then it was time that we vacuum our room so as you can see there was a lot of dust and i'm somehow not comfortable with the broomstick so that's why i use the vacuum cleaner and also guys this is the strip that i ordered from amazon and pasted it onto the door so that it secures the light like there's no light that passes from the outside to the inside of the room when your baby is sleep trained or when your baby sleeps in the dark little light source also is the disturbance so that's why i got those from amazon and pasted it onto the doors and also guys this is a car that arhan is obsessed with like he's totally obsessed over this car like as soon as he wakes up he wants to get on this and ride if you guys want to know a detailed video on this please do let me know in the comment section i would definitely film that for you guys i'm sure you guys will not regret watching that video because this car is something which helps in their gross motor skills and uh, you know getting the balance and all that stuff so i would love to hear it from you guys and also i quickly finished vacuuming the entire room arhan was right there he was sitting on his table so basically i got a table and chair for arhan i did a video on that as well it's uh, there in my channel i'll anyway try to link it in the i bar if you guys haven't seen that yet so he was sitting on the table and trying to read his story books while i was vacuuming the room once we were done doing that it was time that we go for our evening walk so i usually place my phone or camera whatever i have for the point of view shot like this is how i place my camera like my phone there and arhan was telling them that mamma's phone is there it's mamma's phone he's such an adorable child i told you guys right he understands every single bit and he's pointing out to the phone so i place my camera there so that we can have the point of view shot and also went to the jungle gym after a very long time so uh, if you guys have seen my mother in law's channel where we spoke about the static electricity like anything you touch or anybody you touch it's getting so static that i was not taking arhan to the jungle gym after a very long time we went there and 
uh, they also have so many activities in our society that though arhan is too young to do all these he watches other kids doing and that inspires him he tries his best to perform that and also i was helping him as you can see i was telling him i'll help you but then he was like no no i think i'm fine i don't want to do this now and uh, he thought he'll go somewhere else and do some other activity i basically let arhan free and let him choose whatever he wants to do and let him explore the things and choose whichever activity he wants to do so this uncle came and pat arhan and he's got scared he came to me and the moment i asked what happened what did the uncle say he started showing that you know he he touched my cheeks because uh, as i told you guys things are getting static in our society so he really got very scared and came running to me and this broker like you know this is something that arhan really loves and enjoys playing or riding so after that he was like i want to sit here and ride this one so because his that that is his favorite and also uh let's let's him balance himself all by himself i don't go support him and he tries his best to climb i do help him in climbing i don't lift him and make him sit on that i try to uh, i mean i guide him how to climb it all by himself and then uh, we were done playing we came back again another point of view shot so as uh, if you guys want to know how i place my phone or what are the things that i use to take point of view shots please do let me know in the comments i would love to show that either in a full format video like the long format or in the youtube shots because i'm sure this will be helpful for many of you all so yeah let me know in the comments and as you can see we started from the jungle gym and right on the left hand side we have the basketball court so arhan really loves and enjoys watching people play basketball and he was so fascinated he is very very fond of balls like you know the big size balls and basketball is something that he really loves and enjoys watching i want to um, get him enrolled in basketball once he grows up and the minimum age is 4 years or 5 years i am not really sure so after he grows up inshallah and by the time we got back home anuraj and made a dry fruit banana milkshake for our iftari and also this was such wholesome and healthy healthy shake and we had these fruits which i chopped uh, for our iftari we just had fruits and this healthy dry fruit shake and it was arhan Anurjan and myself such a beautiful memorable iftar and as you can see Aran was making this face because the fruits were very cold Anurjan asked me to take them out from the fridge but i delayed in doing that and now it is the time for iftar And guys, uh, this is something I make sure that Arhan knows. Like you know, he knows the difference between dua and also namaste. We join our hands to namaste while we are uh, doing the snack time prayers in the school. And he knows that before going to bed, he needs to read his kalimas and all the duas. So he knows how to put his hands for dua. And as soon as we were done praying for the iftar. I offered him khajur and he was making such cute faces and also guys a lot of you all think that Arhan doesn't smile doesn't give any expressions as I told he keeps a straight face because he doesn't want to disturb me while I'm filming so he allows me to record and doesn't fuss around doesn't you know keep screaming or talking that is the only reason that he's quiet otherwise he's such a happy child he's always smiling always happy he never cries he's not fussy at all he's such such understanding child i tell you guys anyway uh, the iftar was very special and i wanted to keep it private so i did not vlog much kya padhna ta kya padhna ta kal mein ta pakka ta pakka kya padhna chundu kal mein padhna chundu तमड़ू बोले आई लव यू बोले तमड़ू ओ तमड़ू As you can see Arhan is in a stage where he repeats everything and talks so much and yeah he fell asleep after he slept I made my coffee had coffee and got started with my work so yeah that's about this video because this was just from Sari to Iftar as the iftar was done I thought I'll just wrap the video and not film much thank you so much guys for all the support and love please do subscribe to my channel and all the family channels everything is linked in the description box I'll see you all soon in my next video until I'll see you next lots of love